and welcome to Stoked, the Star Trek online podcast, this being Season 1, Episode 13. Lucky 13. I, does anyone know what 13 is in like Spanish or French or something? No. Lucky 13. I don't know. I have no idea what that would be. My name is Brian. With me is Jeremy. That's me. And Chris. Hey there, Brian. Uh, hi, everybody. We got hi. a bunch of stuff in this episode. Hi. We have got a ton of good a ton stuff. Of stuff. Good Tons? news stuff. A couple of awesome screenshots. A noodle. A noodle. A little of bit of baby caboodle. information yeah. for the people. A little bit. A little bit for people. Before we go, I want to say thanks to a couple of people, one of which is a great guy. His name is Aaron, and he's over at consoleclassics.com. That's, That's classics with an X at the end. That yep. means it's extreme. And it this does. this guy, he's very cool. Yeah. He's, he's uh, hooked us up with a couple of accounts, and he's got a bunch of awesome retro games, including retro Star Trek games playable over on his site. Yeah, he's got he's got like probably like Good old seven PC or eight got, retro Star yeah, Trek buddy. games. Yeah. And from the email he sent us, it sounds like tight. he still enjoys playing the heck out of them. So, so if yeah, you got a Star Trek games. gaming itch, that's probably where you want to check well, it out. Well, dude, like Star Trek right. 20th anniversary is like one of the best games like ever. Well, sure, if that's you like good out. games. Well, oh, right. And then we got to say oh, thanks right. to um, Maximus for making our fleet logo. Which right. does look pretty pimp. Now we've had several different versions. I like all of them. Yeah, really. I really is, do. That, is that up in the uh, in the forum? Yep, over yeah, so people can check it out. Com. Or it's on the video cool. version of the show. I'm assuming we're showing that to them. Probably, or like that. we probably right. will do that if, okay. if we we're have awesome. skills. Well, that's Our fancy. fleet proves it. It if does. We, if we have skills. All right. So yeah. should we jump into the news and then we'll get to some beta leaks? We. Yeah. I think that's a all great right. idea. Our top news story for this episode of Stoked, you guys. You guys ready for this? I'm ready for this. We have got. Over 40 pages of glossy concept art, uniform options for DS9 and TNG, red matter capacitor. But where can we find those, Chris? If you pre-order at GameStop.com. All right. Which, so that's we won't the say anything. Edition. Okay, fine. You can choose to do that if you'd like, or yeah, that's you can not, pre-order that's via the link in our show just notes. just pre-order um, bonuses. That's for the collector's that's edition. That's just the collector's bonuses. edition of GameStop. But at GameStop. Now, so if people yeah. buy through Amazon with our affiliate link, and there's the mm-hmm. collector's edition, but I'm not clear on what the collector's edition includes. Yeah, they haven't it updated hasn't, their it page. It hasn't been announced yet. Okay. It's so probably going to be it. the same stuff. The red matter I'm capacitor sure. might be different, but I'm assuming that there's going to be uniforms and a glossy art. That's that's the, that's the whole thing. I mean, yeah. did you say glossy art? I said glossy art. Chris. Oh my goodness, I can't do it without glossy art. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. So the, I mean, the come uh, on, the game looks so freaking fantastic. Why on earth do you need glossy? Oh, art? that's I mean, another thing. I, I mean, I'm sure that's they're, great. They're but still come on. pimping the old the the Constitution class original series TV oh, show. Yeah, they haven't oh, updated shit. that. Well, that's the pre order bonus that comes at GameStop. That's I know, but yeah. collectors that's the or one not. thing. Isn't that like one of the things that Cryptic hasn't confirmed if it's going to be? Yeah, and they still haven't given us any in game shots of it. But whatever. Yeah, there's no. Yeah, you've never seen you've never seen in game. But whatever. All right. So, oh no! Um, I also wanted to mention on the collector's edition, the cover for it looks fantastic. It's very understated, dude. Yeah, which is what I wanted the original box art to look like anyway. Instead, of I agree. Casper Van Dien guy, you know, shooting right. in the flames. The typical, the typical. <laughs> vid- so yeah. the rich, yeah. the non-collector's edition is like a typical video game looking box, right? And then the yeah. collector's edition has a nice, yeah, like you said, it's like space art. Yep. All it's right. classy. Yeah, uh, I like now, it. Um, before we get into the open beta stuff, why don't we talk about some of the confirmed stuff regarding beta? Sure. Uh, Stormshade, who is one of the Stormshade, one of the staff <laughs> over at Cryptic <laughs> Studios, who's making the game, he uh, confirmed something that we kind of conjectured. Wait, I just realized something. Wasn't the name of that white ninja from GI Joe's Storm Sh- Storm Shadow? Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Not my bad. The same thing, but maybe hey, inspired Jeremy. from Jeremy. That's your bad. Yeah. Jeremy, Chris, apologize, continue. everyone. Everybody, Jeremy, sorry. Attention, everybody. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> so Stormshade, who is a cryptic employee, uh, said in a public forum that people that are currently in closed beta will automatically roll over into the open beta. Now, this awesome. is a question that we kind of suspected that was the case last episode. Then, following last episode, we got a lot of questions what about What happens? That. Right. Let's say, theoretically, you get into closed beta, and then you do something wrong and get kicked out of closed beta. Will you get automatically into open beta? Well, the open beta is not protected by NDA, so technically... But it's first. You've cl- done nothing wrong. But oh, yeah, everybody in closed beta gets in. Then it's first come, first serve for people that pre-order that get that's a code. That still hasn't been actually confirmed. It's still okay. a rumor at this point. Then it's that first, it's first come? come, first serve. I oh. think that that I thought, rumor. I thought that was confirmed. No, I believe okay. that that rumor has been coming from retailers like GameStop stores and things oh, like to that. Try to bump up the sales. I think so. They do like sales. I've Those heard. Those tricky sobs. That's interesting. You gotta if you, watch them. That if you've got some alternative information that that might tell us that, uh, right. that Cryptic has a- actually said that, send yeah. that over because right. I, I've been a- I haven't been able to verify it. All right. So uh, let's talk a little bit about beta. Now, uh, last episode we mentioned there was a few tips that had hit our inbox that uh, we weren't going to share in that episode just because we were 
we're going to take the extra week to confirm some of them because we want to make sure that while we right. can't be completely certain about the information that we're giving out that comes from our uh, beta testers at a tip anonymously, we want to make sure it's as verifiable as possible. Which usually means just sitting around and waiting for a second tip to come <laughs> right. in with the same info. Or uh, there's, a few, there's a few places that you, know, you can go where if somebody at another location is stating the same information that's not affiliated with the person that sent you information, yeah. the two stories correlate, then you know you've got good information. Right, right. So uh, now, gentlemen. How should we discuss this right well, now, G- given current circumstances? Do we want to talk about the current circumstances, yes. or should we All move right. forward? Here's the thing, everybody. What's the thing? One a-hole here, and I'm pointing at Jeremy <laughs> right now, uh, managed to get into closed beta. <laughs> I'm sorry. Me and Chris, on nope, the other hand, nope, have not. not. Nope, nope. What this means is, now Jeremy just has the opportunity to play closed this beta. This morning. We, we um, just actually walked away from it. Uh, so well, now he did. I didn't get to see it. No, Neither right. did Brian because it's closed right. beta. Now here's the thing. That means that as far as I'm concerned, me and Chris can talk about closed beta. Right. And we can come up with all sorts of crazy stuff. And Jeremy can neither confirm nor deny true. what true. he saw in closed right. beta. Let and now, be- now, didn't you also you got you got some some communication from people at Cryptic about this, didn't you? Me? Yes. Yeah. Well, I got a few welcome what messages. You yeah. Uh, now, oh, you got a few tongue and cheek messages. I did. Pretty great. I, basically, the the chips are down. They're <laughs> challenging me, saying you're you're never going to make it an episode. <laughs> didn't didn't someone make a bet? It was like twenty strips of gold pressed latinum says you won't met last one episode. That's what he was told by. Yeah. You can't Cryptic make it one tab. episode without without divulging without beta information. So here's how we're going. We're going to handle it as such. Um, Jeremy will not be able to confirm or deny the tips that we've received. So the information we'll be sharing with you is from our tips inbox and not you know, from Jeremy You know what would be great, though? If at some point, like let's say in the next week, both me and Chris get in it, and then the next episode, it'll be all three of us sitting here and, huh. well, let's go to the tips inbox. This guy says this. Maybe. Crickets. <laughs> <laughs> We won't be able to talk about anything at that point. So, uh, no, you, know, you know, I got to be totally honest, though. I'm probably going to fail. I'm yeah. probably going to let something <laughs> slip. <laughs> and right, I'm Jeremy. really just hoping that, that Cryptic loves us enough and the good press that we give them that they'll, they'll give us a little <laughs> leniency on this, maybe. We'll around. see. We'll see. Yeah. Uh, so I thought maybe we'd cover a couple things that yeah, came let's, in the tip inbox. Into that. And before we go much further, um, I'm bringing up the tip inbox while I stall here, but I want to use this opportunity stall. to give everyone a warning. What I'm about to cover may um, be considered a gameplay spoiler. And so what I'm going to do is right now there's a spoiler warning up. If you're watching the video version, oh. there's a spoiler warning up around us. And oh, you, might just, you might oh, just... Oh, good choice. There. Thank you. you like Holy that? crap. I know. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> um, and if you're listening to the audio no version... I have no idea what that's going to look like. If, you, if you're listening to the audio <laughs> version, skip ahead a couple of minutes. Um, there otherwise, could be little dancing ponies <laughs> going around the screen for all I know. It's from an old 8-bit like NES Barbie game or something. That's, that's, that's what Chris could do. Yeah. Um, now he can. No, I've already made it. I've already made it. So I've already oh. made the, the spoiler cam. So I, it's You already did that? Yeah. Oh, look at you um, thinking ahead. So, so just skip ahead if you don't want any spoilers for, for how, the t- how the tutorial content is going to go. Also, yeah. remember that a lot of this we cannot verify. So if somebody has sent us a bad tip to the inbox, um, right. sometimes, I, I, like we said earlier, we try to verify them. But well, we can't always. To I'm going to try clear, to focus on content that we Jeremy verify the best of our ability. can verify them, just not Publicly. to anyone else. He can verify them internally, in his own brain, so like in his knows. own body. So he knows if it's right or wrong. So maybe if you watch the uh, video version, can't. just watch my eyebrows. <laughs> yeah, um, so left eyebrow goes up means it's wrong right eyebrow means it's right yeah he'll get that he'll mess that up <laughs> yeah he totally will so what I'm going to cover today Plus it's like reversed in the video anyway and everyone's going right. to be all freaked out and confused what I'm going to cover today I'm going to try to make sure is only stuff that we've been ver- be able to verify to the best of our ability but from here third party sources we right. go now this what I am what I am about to read was posted in a public forum and we snagged it fast thanks to a anonymous tipster. Yeah. And this, Thank you, Internet. This was publicly posted and then taken down by Cryptic, but it was grabbed before it was taken down. Yeah, actually, when this landed in the tip box, I was able to go find it on the forum. So it was up for a couple hours. Yeah. Um, we got, yeah. We got, you got to work fast, and so we say thank you to the guys that email out to tips at jupiterbroadcasting.com. Yeah. All right. So um, I'm gonna, this is a really long email, and I'm not sure. Maybe I'll just paraphrase it a little bit. But well, it's basically the entire thing. I wonder, can we... We probably shouldn't put that up, but it's basically a walkthrough of three hours worth of closed beta gameplay. How Whoa. it starts out, it's written from the point of view of basically yeah, we, somebody we watching over that. the corner. No, we won't Crypt- repost it. Watching over the shoulder. But, but here's the highlights. That this is the reason for the spoiler cam. Is the highlight is 
is you start out in tutorial and you immediately uh, go into a conflict with the Borg. But that's there's something cool. that's not quite right about the Borg. They're a little weaker. Some of them are engaging you. Some of them are just standing around. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, it, and it's yeah. not just a point and shoot, point and shoot. There's scenes where, um, according to what was posted in the forum, where you'll even beam Borg uh, into like a damaged part of a, of a ship or a st base station and get, they'll blow them out into space. Nice. Instead of shooting them. Like, so there's other creative ways to... Non-combat. Gameplay. There's other non-combat oh. ways to, to uh, work around that. <laughs> so when you start out in the game, you're not immediately a captain. And they work you getting your own ship in a, in a way that is pretty seamless with the flow of the game. And what it essentially comes down to is you've got to get in and take command of a situation due to the circumstances caused by the Borg. And there's a legitimate reason that fits within the Star huh. Trek universe that you get command of your own ship. It's a really cool way to do it. And if people, if people are burning to know, if you really want to know, uh, contact me on the forum over at jupitercolony.com and I'll, maybe I'll share a couple more details. I don't want to spoil it too much because, you know, Cryptic's building something that's actually pretty cool here and I want to yeah. give him the opportunity to sort of unveil it to the whole public, yeah, unveil it, but... That whole uh, moment of kind of discovering this content for yourself is going to be a big part of the initial gaming experience. Right. So if you already know what to expect, you might, but you, know you might end up not enjoying the game quite as much as you would have if it well, was all just a surprise. Course, this is just the totally. first. This is just the first hour or two of the game. Yeah. yeah. Which right. is already quite epic. And I just want to say, as a Star but this Trek, this is just fan, the tutorial stuff. Yeah. Right. This is tutorial stuff. And I just want to say, as a fan of Star Trek, I'm really happy with the way Cryptic sort of. Uh, came up with this story-driven way to make it more Star Trek. It's not like, just shoehorned in, right? right. And yeah. and I'm and, and it's not just you walking around a starbase going, "This is how you interact with a terminal," right? And and as I as I glean these different things from our tip inbox, I do hate World of Warcraft. Now that you mention it, <laughs> <laughs> as I glean these different things from our tip inbox, I'm I, over and over again. I keep thinking, "Wow, they really thought that through." They. Somebody is writing this that really knows Star Trek and cares I mean, about it. At this point, it's not like uh, they're a bunch of Star Wars fans. They're not. They're obviously not. I mean, they wouldn't. They wouldn't do things like have you know Star Wars plot lines or or Star Wars esque Medical music in the game. No, they'd never do that. Um, now, I will say that one of the things that really impressed me was as I was reading through these different tips, I really felt like there's a continu continuation of different plot points that were sort of laid in the grounds, um, you know, seeds of story that were in the TV shows and the movies that Cryptic has watered, and they're really, they've yeah. really got some good stuff here. I'm, I, I went through a period in the last couple of weeks where I was starting to get a little concerned about the game. I thought really? there was a couple of things I'd seen, and this is a great reason why these beta testers are under NDA, because there's a couple of things that I'd seen that I thought, I'm a little nervous about that. Hmm. And through clarifications and things like that that we've received... I sort of had a renewed faith in in how much fun this game was going to be to play for me. Well, we've seen how well they think things through already with the path to twenty four on that, oh, yeah, which for sure. is admittedly not updated for a long time. But even if you go back and read those articles, you know that the people that have been writing them and implementing them and brainstorming these new ideas, they know what they're talking about and they love what they're talking about. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's a passion there, and um, the uh, the. Attention to detail is definitely definitely there. Now, Jeremy, you had taken a couple of notes from the tip inbox that you thought we should specifically maybe touch on? Yeah, let's see. Well, uh, actually, I got a request from one of our guys if we could find any information about character creation. So I went back through the tip okay. inbox. We would kind of glossed over it because we don't have a whole lot. Um, but I wanted to share a little bit of that with you. What we do have, we will share. Yeah. So, um, so uh, racial bonuses. We all know those are going to be in the game. Um, now, so a racial bonus would be like if you're a Vulcan, you might get plus 10 to strength. Right, because they're more physically... That's not necessarily what you're going to get, but that's just an example of what could be. Something right. like that. Okay. Klingons might have some sort of... They may know. just smell worse. Right. Yeah. Klingons right. might All have like a... Like a right. When they get angry, they get like the m more acute ability yeah, and to do Bajoran, oh, yeah, And Bajorans start the game out with VD. Right. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> but somebody... <laughs> so somebody told me that uh, uh, an important part of the... Human oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's address this now, actually. <laughs> All right, so we got to come back to that. This. Look over in the Star Trek Online forum. You might have heard of it. Uh, they, uh, there, there was a large conversation going on in one of the threads over there about how this beloved podcast uh, was anti-Semitic um, because of our hatred of Bajorans, and obviously Bajorans are space Jews. Our, spa our space Jews. That was actually the phrase which, used. Now, hit the pause which, button there. Do which, you kind of agree a little bit? 
No. Well, not think at all. about it. Like, no, I do love people. I, no, no, hold on, hold on. Right. I love the phrase space Jews. Right. I want to be clear. <laughs> but here's the thing. You but know, that just brings to mind like Hasidics and space helmets. You know who space Jews are? Uh, Captain Kirk. Yeah. yeah. Spock. Yeah. I'm just saying. Yep. They're Jews yep. in space. Yep. So in the, space. the cool captains yeah, in, space in space are already space Jews. Right. Those are space Jews. Right. Bajorans, Bajorans are dirty and they shouldn't be trusted. <laughs> And they will they will steal your children, and they will drink right. the blood of your firstborn sons, huh? Huh? The, uh, yeah, etc. So, <laughs> but we're not anti-Semitic, uh, but they're dirty, dirty Bajorans. You know, I think it's we just make that a really clear, right? funny joke. I really think it is. we don't really hate Bajorans. No. Brian, well, might. Brian might really actually, dude, dude really? But I kind of hate him. I kind of hate him. <laughs> I a little bit at least. All right, like, I give up. Like, as much as I hate any fictional race, right, <laughs> like, exactly. I hate Bajorans, like, up there. The like, joke is kind of like, the fact that we can like, actually have hate for Like, for my race, top are, are Bajorans. They are fictional. Though. And right below them, almost as much, are those, are those chicks Daleks. from Star Wars. Oh. That they're, they have, they're like dreadlock hair, yeah. but they're not hair. They're just like but pieces the of their body, but it's just skin. That's just nasty. Is I know. what that is. I know. Hate both of them. It's like gigantic earlobes. No, it's like a, it comes out of their scalp. But it comes out of their scalp, and there's only like three of them. You yeah, know what they look weird. like? They look like those D-bags out snowboarding with those those big, like, like jester hat. Th- it just looks retarded. Yeah, I'm with you. Um, now, that said... Uh, what are we talking about? I wanted to ca- I j- we should say quickly... <laughs> I don't even know. Um, I have no idea. How, how huge it is for us that um, the people over at the Star Trek Online Forum post, to our show, post links to our show when it's, when it's out. Before oh, yeah. we even get a chance to mention something... You guys, yeah, they get to do it first. Because like the community support is really it has been it is it is so big for us, and and the traffic that you're helping us generate for the show, the 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 forum post over at Star Trek Online's forum, uh, what is it? Star Trek Online dot com slash forum. Yes. Yeah, uh, is is awesome, and we really really want to say thank you. That is it's really impressive. It's really helped. Uh, it's really helped out the growth you of guys the show. Are impressive, and it's helped us. It's helped us interact more with the community and kind of get feedback for what people are asking and mm-hmm. thinking. And I just wanted to say. Joking aside, we really seriously appreciate the uh, the hookups you guys are giving us with links to shows and things like that. And, and, and we do really hate Bajorans. All right, so <laughs> all right, so going back, I, think to I was talking about here. some character racial bonus, oh, yeah. racial, racial bonus, racial bonuses. Racial bonuses. Um, uh, all, humans, all I see looking over here is humans are not base. Humans are not base. That's all it says right here. Which is for really now. all you need to take I away. Have, yeah, there you, you go. don't get penalized for playing human. Right, is well, what. Is what they what humans are not. You don't race. get penalized for playing any any race, right? Um, in a lot of MMOs, humans are the baseline. They have no bonuses, baseline stats, and then oh, yeah. other races have right. specific disadvantages right. and right. advantages above or you below. You kind of almost would expect that, being as you know, Earth is in sector one right. and everything in space. It's very Earth centric. Well, and yeah, you know, we're kind got, of an Earth centric. You've got thing. Vulcans with their the, strength. You've the got show Star Trek. I've always found is not is not geared towards people say Romulans. It's not it's not aired on Romulus. All as as much like it's not in right. syndication there yet. Right, it's mostly for Earth. Uh, yeah, yeah. But I do, you know, a lot of times I do see in video games where if you don't pick an alien, you don't get uh, you don't get some sort of special ability that's right. inherent to those alien races. No, but humans in Stowe have bonuses of their own. To I think one of them that was mentioned was leadership. I'm not sure exactly. What, probably some sort of a group. Maybe somebody could. If like, if anybody an wants to send something to the something? tips inbox and maybe. clarify, that'd be awesome. Yeah. Um, because that's an interesting one. I'm pleased because I haven't made up my mind yet if I'm going to play human or if I'm going to. Play like a custom but alien, but this helps or because otherwise, who wants to be a human if they've got no, no reason to be a human? I think I'm oh, gonna I go. I totally do. <clears throat> really, dude? Humans are pimp. Now, what do you think about human, but like custom human with? Like All right, let me let me ask you this: uh, What race was Captain Kirk? Um, human, Jewish. Right, he was a space <laughs> Jew. Uh, what race was Spock? Um, Vulcan, space Jew. Vulcan, <laughs> Vulcan. So you want to be a space Jew? <laughs> <laughs> there is a space Jew option, isn't there? It's a custom race. I'm I sure, think. yeah. I'm, I'm sure. assuming there is. You, you, mean you know, we're not we're not ragging on Jews either because I, Brian's Jewish. Yeah, Come on, he gets to say that stuff. That's yeah, kind they, of the they code. actually don't though. Is the great thing. Yeah, that's that's the rules. Yeah, I believe Brian's going to beat us up later. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's what I get to do. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, that's, that's a little, that's little extra hard there. there. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down, big guy. Um, all right. know, uh, so that's really nice because I'm thinking yeah. I'm going to go like a hybrid, like like 90% human with like some like weird alien like bump or ears Dude, or something. Don't do the weird bump thing. No, that's so, so lame. That's that's like the one thing I dislike about some of the Star Trek like races is you remember- humans. With like a bump on their nose. Yeah, do you remember when oh. the trill were first introduced? It was just like four dots on the forehead. What about what about like? And then uh, they went with the spot thing. Yeah, but I kind of want to do yeah. something a little different to make me unique. You could just well, leave then go parent. all out, huh? 
Go all out. Don't just do the little bumps and pointy yeah, ears. Yeah, be something thing. like extreme. So you're saying yeah. go 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 stock human or just go to town. Yeah, yeah, you know, like get a Klingon haircut and like push it up to the yeah. back and make your ears like this go long. Insane. And go insane. Make it make it so like okay. yeah, exactly. Like right. your dad I got was like a shapeshifter mm-hmm. and like I got, your mom was Odo. Now, what are you guys doing for names? What are you guys gonna do for names? Because I think I'm gonna do something run of the mill like Star Trek character name, but I'm not sure yet. I mean like like Anthony. No, no, like something from Star Trek. Like I'm gonna go back into s- in Star Trek and pick like a character, like an like extra name or something that's just from like an episode Lieutenant or something. Barkley. Well, you don't want to put I'm Lieutenant not, I'm not on doing there, Barkley. <laughs> dude. No. What's wrong with Barkley? No, I'm just because he's he's he's. There's gonna be other Barkley. I'm gonna go. Th- I want to go okay. through like Star Trek. In fact, and just Reginald find, like, Barkley. I'd like to run into him in game. He might be a captain by now. Dude, the A team was so pimp. <laughs> um, so, oh, I don't know. I, I'm probably going to go with something. Honestly, I'm probably going to go with something I find funny. I'm yeah, probably okay. going to be Bordicus because I'm always a, Bordicus. a commoner on the, the forums. People know me by that name a yeah. bit. So. I was thinking about going with my forum username, but it's my username. It's your username. real name. Yeah. Captain Chris Fisher. Yeah. yeah that'd be awesome, yeah. huh? All right. Um, I'll be Shia LaBeouf. What else we got on here? What else? You <laughs> that'd got, be awesome. You got a couple other notes. Well, there was Shia a note, LaBeouf. There was a note also about um, boff customization. Um, I'm not really clear on exactly what this means, but they're customizable within their race. Um, so maybe that means like when you get them, they're, they're always going to be the same race. Huh. Well, um, but you okay. can change the way they look within that race. So if you get a, a human, you can make them young or old or oh, male okay. or female. Okay, I, I okay, but you can't make but them a Vulcan. But you can't Vulcan. change them, right. You can't change them into a Vulcan. So you can change their, their sex? I don't know about that one. But you can customize them within race. So Long hair. Who's man. that? I'm, huh? My my brain's kind of going a mile a minute right now. If what the storyline potentials also, are for they're that, they're also pre-named. Um, so you if can't, you get you one, can't change their name. So if you get one with a very feminine or very masculine name, and then you try to change their gender, if you can, I'm not even sure. You end up with a, a boy named Sue. I, now, have we talked about? Have I we talked about? Um, <laughs> see, I'm looking at this. I'm looking right here. This tip here about the ability to train a boff. Have we talked about that? Oh, this is actually not a beta leak. I've, I've seen this confirmed in previous uh, dev chats, but yeah. we've, I don't think we've ever talked about it. We I should think mention we actually that. did early on. It's an itch- okay, but let's bring it up because I kind of forgot the details. So boff you get four boffs. Yes. And if you've got like these boffs, you've invested a lot of customization. We call that a multi buff. Yeah, if you've got multi boffs. Actually, you can have up to six because some of the biggest ships have six stations. Uh, okay. Now, the problem is, is what if all of a sudden Ooh, that's cool. another boff comes along and a, it's kind of an attractive boff and you're kind of starting to maybe stray a little bit from your established boffs. <laughs> you're kind of stuck. Do you drop this boff you spend all this time on? Oh, yeah. Or do you go with a whole, and go with a whole totally new oh, boff yeah, to get what buff. they have? Well, it, if you get one that's already ranked up and you, it would, you wouldn't lose greener. anything, then I'd probably go for it. But, you know, after a few months, years of I'm going to love my boss. You might get really attached to him. So there's an already an, uh, a mechanic in place. That's referred to as boff attachment. That you can choose to, um, instead of getting rid of them, you can have this new uh, candidate teach one of your existing boffs the skills that they know, and then they just go home. And a boff, boff stands for bridge officer. So, right? To most of us. I yeah. don't know what Brian's talking about sometimes. Uh, and um, <laughs> it's my secret. <laughs> um, so you can train. So you can take an ex- if there's a boff that comes along that has something you want, you can yeah. use that boff to train your existing bridge officer. Right. Like let's say for example, it's very nice. That's very actually. That's that's one of these things we're talking about where that's really well thought through because that would be a dynamic that I would maybe would have to take a hit in order to take this ability. Right. And I'd be like, ah, oh, f. Well, I'm not going to do that, and I would just become stuck. But now that I can you train, well, I yeah, really like that. we already that's know that bad. you can train up weapon skills. So let's say that you take your main tactical officer all up energy weapons and. And photons and all, the, or, or uh, phasers. I mean, but then you run across a new tactical officer that you don't want, but they've got an awesome torpedo skill exactly. like that you can, haven't been putting in. Maybe you don't have in. quad torpedoes yet, right? So you I like, oh, quad well, torpedoes. I want that, but I like Bill better. Well, now you can have Bill's a good both. boff. Yeah, and, and now Bill gets trained up. Bill's a good boss. And now Bill can do quad torpedoes. It's just like what would happen in real Starfleet. You wouldn't you wouldn't right. get rid of a bridge officer. You would just tr- send them Teach to training. Them. Can you give boffs nicknames? I would like to have like quad torpedo Bill. Yeah, yeah, why not, right? They need nicknames. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or just QB for short. I agree with that. Hey, QB. I don't know if you can. Yeah. QB. All right, any other tips That's that you gleaned from the inbox that you want to make sure we cover before That's we all I. On? Well, like I said, I went back through and looking for uh, character customization stuff. That's really all that we got. That's why there's, uh, there's not much. So, Jeremy, in your running through of uh, the character customization, uh, how's that been? Have they been following pretty closely with what we've been learning here? Everything I've said today was stuff that I said today. <laughs> 
That's your point. <laughs> That's kind of been established by you saying. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, uh, just, just, Where are you going just with just that, big guy? I don't know what you're yeah, saying. Yeah. What's going on? <laughs> you got to use your words. <laughs> yeah. All right. So how about how about the cool isometric uh, space view thing? How well has that work been working? Um. You're just trying to get a kid. <laughs> I really am. Seriously, Brian though. warned me ahead of time. So well, not be, really warned be, me. He taunted so, me. So, so here's something that, that I've been worrying about is, mm-hmm. you know, um, like yeah. the turning in space. Uh-huh. When, we were, when we were at PAX, mm-hmm. you know, that was the thing is, you know, when you turn, you know, you, you in space, you, the ships kind of wobble mm-hmm. a little bit. Do you find mm-hmm. that the ships are still pretty wobbly? I've heard that the ships are still kind of wobbly, that they don't quite feel as big as they, uh, they're supposed to be. But so this, the ship is, is that, actually... So is that your experience, though? Like, like, do you find that to be the case? I've been told that that's the case. <laughs> you know what <laughs> else? That in a previous episode. You know what else? You might have been told was uh, that uh, they did a really good job with perspective, though, of large objects, like from a long ways oh yeah, away. How does that look? A long ways away, something will look large, and then as you approach it, oh, oh, it still dude, gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Dude, dude, okay. So when you go to Sector One, right? So we know Sector One is Earth, right? Is it? So, well, that's what it is in Star Trek, <laughs> unless they changed it in the game. So you go, so you go there. When you're in Sector One, right? Like, like, how much can you explore? Well, Sector 1 is just Earth's star base. It's oh, that's really, just it, Earth's star base? It's really not Earth. I mean, you can see Earth. It's not, it's not like our whole, like... Solar system? Well, you know, it would take several hours to get from Earth to, let's say, Jupiter. Because that's Something actually what like I want to do is I really want to explore Jupiter in like the Jupiter Force from Jupiter Broadcasting. That's just everybody meet up at Jupiter because that, that just begs for an amazing screenshot. Yeah, now, now, from your experience, uh, can, we, can we pull that off? I cannot either confirm or deny that one. <laughs> All right. I'm trying to remember if anybody's right. told me that here's, before. Here's what we're going to do, ladies and gentlemen. Um, <laughs> if you have questions that you would like to ask of Jeremy that you think you can make Jeremy crack his NDA and get him kicked out of the beta, send it to tips at jupiterbroadcasting.com with the subject no, line, they send it we're to tips. all gunning for Jeremy. If they send it to tips, I can say it because it's not me. But it's a question. But a in a question. So, so hey, Jeremy, in your experience, <laughs> da 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 da. Right. Ask it in that form. Right. Thanks, Brian. You're welcome. All right, Jeremy. should we move on to some recent yes. articles where we gleaned some? And seriously, guys at Cryptic, if you have an actual pool going, contact me. I want to get in on it. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> so totally. <laughs> yeah, I'm not right. going to play the next test. <laughs> oh, this is okay. So uh, the Ten Ton Hammer guys did a little article on. I love how uh, it says ton. <laughs> ten ton. What did I say? Ten, ten ton. Instead of ten ton. Yeah. Ten ton. Ten ton. Hammer guys. <laughs> I can't say the word ton. You're apparently. adorable, Chris. <laughs> they uh, they did an article on uh, the UI, and uh, there's a couple of things that were gleaned from the article that, that we thought we'd week? share with you. I know these yeah. weeks are horrendously long. I know. I know. No custom. So much stuff happening. No custom UI mods. Our UI scripting language is proprietary and internal. It is really really powerful, and eventually uh, we may release it to players to allow them to play around, but not at launch. So, you okay. know, well, some games out there, World of Warcraft, uh, let you modify the UI. To most, use. most massively multiple. It's kind of a cool And deal. even the ones that don't have fully in, uh, customizable UIs have strong scripting languages. So, so you, you can so set you up can macros and things like macros, that. Yeah. Right, right, right. Now, they say they may release it to players, but not at launch. Well, you know, yeah, uh, I'll roll but, with But, you know, that. we even played with this at PAX where you could move around the windows wherever yeah, you wanted so them and resize them. Yeah, so it looked like it was fairly flexible, mm-hmm. so I'm pretty okay with that, I guess. You can define a fleet logo that ends up being displayed on your ship. Rock <laughs> and roll. <laughs> yes. We were talking about this just last week. If I we cannot can... wait to put our fleet logo on our ship. Yeah. <laughs> Especially because, like you said, we've got some great oh, fleet logos. What fleet logo's going to be? It's a juicy, we've already right? got a fleet logo. Not a penis. That's... Are... That's what I said. We got a really awesome one that was already submitted. Okay. What's with you and dude, penises? What's the deal with you and penises? I, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe past experience this is with like somebody. This like the third episode where you brought this up. It's getting somebody a little weird. Somebody has a history with the penis, and I'm just going to say, <laughs> dude, it's Brian. We're all guys. <laughs> Technically, we all have a history with the penis. <laughs> we're like 30-year-old men, dude. All that's, right. That's, that's, that's deep. That's, that's, I know. <laughs> that's a valid and, and, and legitimate point. I was thinking point. about it all so weekend. back to UI modifications. Yeah. All right. Um, Actually, this was not UI anymore. Open instancing. Auto group functions you can toggle that function on and off so, okay so did not know that I so just, like you yeah. enter into like uh, an a, instance a and you're automatic or a zone and you're automatically joined with whoever's there yes. yes okay and you can turn that off and so you get it put into your own instance of that zone where you're by right. yourself right right okay. and, and we've, we've already been told that the content scales depending on how many people well, are in there and, so and we've confirmed so how well does it scale jeremy like huh. from your gameplay like testing yeah jeremy have, have you noticed anything how well does it scale yeah. that's actually one i can't answer 
Wow. Not just because I don't want to break NDA, but I haven't really experienced all well, that. Well, I got a tip, and the tip says it does scale quite well. You'll see. You might. You might be very impressed with how it. Maybe I should pay attention next time I test. <laughs> I had a tip in the tip inbox. I've just been submitting so many bugs. I barely get any time to play. You know. Uh huh. No, not, it's not true at all. I've just been playing. <laughs> <laughs> but he's going to submit bugs. Wait, yeah, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. This is my first say, time. You saying that, does that violate NDA? I don't know. Cryptic? You heard it first. <laughs> Jeremy just violated NDA. I told you I wouldn't make it a single episode. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we've got an article from Massively.com that might be a little controversial to the Star Trek purists out there. All right, bring um, it on. Is J.J. Abrams like making a cameo? No. Oh, then it's fine. No, this is actually the title of the the article is Federation Stands for Fighting. Yes. And I don't think that this should upset the purist. This is something that explains how combat fits into the purist um, overarching story of Star Trek from the beginning. Kirk was all about di- diplomacy with fists half the time, at least right. half the time. Yeah. Uh, the only captain in the entire Star Trek universe that has been more about diplomacy is Picard. Jean-Luc Picard. Yeah, and even he started to throw down towards the later episodes. Right. Well, and you could just you could say. No, that wait. What's I didn't really read this article. So what's the big deal? Are they just saying that that people in they're in the saying Federation that fight a, lot a lot of people that had, that are interested in this game. A lot of people are saying it's too much combat. We want more non-combat. You know, the get, Star Trek is not all about beating people up and blowing up their ships. And this article is basically saying, well, yeah, it kind of is. Dude, yeah, it's a Western well, in space. Starfleet. That was Gene Roddenberry's vision for it. Starfleet is about fighting. The Federation is about a unified group, and the Starfleet is right, the military totally arm of the Federation. Totally different. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's that, basically that, the gist of it. If you, um, it's a good read. It's, it's like the United really States versus the, show notes. the U.S. Navy. Kind of. Yeah. That's the whole deal. Yeah. One's the organization, one's the or sub organization yeah. yep. that's for yep. military. military. Absolutely. And we'll, yeah. it's a good read, like Jeremy said. We'll link to it in the show notes. But uh, yeah. I know it's been something that people have mentioned to us a couple of times. I'm worried about too much combat. You know, can I go talk talk to the people instead of shoot at the people? Mm-hmm. Now, oh, you mean like instead of like fist fighting or using your phasers to kill Bajorans? It'd be a boring you, like, game. you like go get viruses to kill all the Bajorans. Right. <laughs> okay. No, I, I, you know, I can it's get just, on board with that. Actually, you can do. It's more effective. Now they have said there will be some diplomatic missions, right? Non-combat missions, but that's fine. But there's only so much gameplay much. value you get out of that. Seriously, Plus, if you do too many like diplomatic missions, I could see that really quickly turning into you know go make a bag. Unless they're really... Quests. Uh, and that just sounds boring. The only time that that could really keep my interest is if they've got some outstanding script writers out there that are really uh, creating some really great stories. Bring in like, uh, bring in like DC and, and Fontana and a few others. Right. Oh, I'd love that. Yeah, I would yeah, too. do that. Dude. Dude, seriously? Now, if, if... Oh, man. That would just be rocking. Dave Gerald. Now we see... Um, now this is Good interesting. man. You go, so go right, to, right game, to there. Yeah. GameSpy kind of has a negative take on... The GameSpy got some hands-on with Stoked. Or Stowe. So, and um, yeah, not us. Their quote was, I worry for this game. And they are skeptic that the ground combat, and specifically the space combat, sort of already has a bur- uh, Pirates of the Burning Sea ripoff feel. Yeah. No, if anything, it's more like uh, uh, Star Trek Legacy. It's very similar to Star Trek Legacy, only it's been modified to be more MMO-friendly and a little more epic in scope. I think that, um, well, first of all, Game Which Spy is good, doesn't what it tend be. to enjoy MMOs. Uh, I've seen they are sort numerous of, yeah, reviews you know, done by GameSpy, and they yep. are not friendly with the MMO genre hmm. because they don't. You They're first-person shooter guys. They seem well, not to be only like, that, they but you know, like, a single standalone game is a finished product. They're really big about that. They don't like games that, and it's common these plus, days in the MMO MMOs world. MMOs don't use their client. That's true. I mean, GameSpy has their oh, multiplayer client that they it's bundle a, like with a peer, people. Yeah. And That's so, like, like point. games like like real time strategy games and whatnot, those get bundled with GameSpy. That's a great point. GameSpy can't do that with, they don't with make MMOs. Any money. Yeah. They don't make any money off of it. So, I mean, GameSpy has been notorious for they don't really care about the actual quality of the roof. This well, is just the way it's been in they, the industry. Like for years. Jeremy has said, they they've had they have shown a previous past um, a bias towards not. Like yep. you know, and e- even in this article, they mentioned that uh, space combat is a rip off of Pirates of the Burning Sea. I went back and looked at their Pirates of the Burning Sea review. They ripped that thing to pieces. <laughs> so how can they say that Stowe is a rip off when it's so much better? They already acknowledge that it's good in space. They just also said that it was a rip off. It, 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 it does of something it they hate. It does have some distinct similarities, but one's a naval game on the sea. One's a naval game in space. Yeah. That's just that's the thing, guys. Get with it's it. Ships fighting ships. That's Turns like out, that's like saying kind that of a, basic like, recipe. a new flight simulator oh, that comes a way to do out it right. has some similarities to an older flight simulator no. that came out before it. <laughs> Game right. spy needs to go away. 
Now, uh, let's talk Game really quickly about the uh, space exploration trailer. Now, do you guys think that um, this this trailer focused a lot on a couple of... Well, this tra- trailer wasn't very well focused, and that's kind of what I wanted to talk about. Um, well, first of all, it, it was, was titled post- Exploration. But then it just showed a lot of combat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it you wasn't know, it very had, exploratory. Like, half... It's about a minute and a half long, and about 30 seconds of the, the beginning of it, after you get past the logos... It's beautiful. It's just beauty shots. Gorgeous beauty shots. Which, which is how the game looks. The game looks... You know what's funny? We had a guy ask us. Remember that in the forum? The guy's like, why do, why do you guys keep talking about the videos and the screenshots? That's not how the game looks. Yeah. Remember that? No, no. This is how the That's game how looks. That's how the game looks. From it, everything I've seen. Yeah. That's how the game... It looks as good as we've been showing And you. as we mentioned last week, we actually received some screenshots where they did a minor graphics upgrade. Some of the footage that you'll still oh, see man. on YouTube and places like that is older footage. It looks even better now. Yeah. From, yeah. from your personal experience? From those screenshots we were sent last week. <laughs> okay. Nice. <laughs> um, so that said, you know, I, I harp on it because they said it was a space exploration and it's pretty much... Yeah, mostly after combat. You get past those beauty shots. But the combat l- does look yeah. awesome. And one of the things that you'll see in this trailer, which if. Um, Maybe in the future, exploration means combat. Maybe. One of the things you'll see in this trailer oh, is. Oh, that's a great uh, shot. They though. have uh, a great shot of a Borg cube. Dude, wait. It gives so you perspective of how big those freaking cubes are. They're big. To explore strange new worlds. Does that, mean, does that mean to, to, to attack strange I new worlds? It does. It's, just, it's just a different words. Yeah. Maybe they just mean uh, the exploration of how to words destroy have meanings. things. No, I love it. <laughs> I love right. that. Now, anything it's a else, fun trailer, but it's not exploration. Is there anything else we want to cover before I move on to reviewing this I, week's screenshot? I think that's it. That's it. All Jump right. into the screenshots. All Do right. it. They're gorgeous. So let's let's start Bam. with uh, the uh, couple of new ones over here from the boys over at Zam. They're Zam. I still hold that that's not a real website. <laughs> Zam.com. I've still never gone to this website other than when we're here looking You've at some screenshots. You've never gone to my blog. It still exists. It's a Is good, it Jeremy.typepad.com? It's, it's, good, it's a good point. Jupiter Jeremy. Dot Jupiter Jeremy. Dot typepad dot com. I like that you're Jupiter Jeremy. That's adorable. Okay, no, no. All screenshot. Right. <laughs> now, uh, let's start with uh, number two here on the Zam screenshots. We've got a nice shot <laughs> of Earth. Of Earth with a galaxy class starship and yeah. then with a and star it's base. And the moon also. It's got, it's got a moon. It's got oh, a star base. So and then if you look off in the distance, Just a little bit there. we have got uh, some, um, some building um, dry docks where they're, building, oh. where they're building ships. Is that what those are? Yeah. Yep. They look awfully small out there. Because they're so far I'm, away. I'm hung up on the moon. Oh, no. Okay, I'm really hung it. up on the moon because if you look closely, you can oh, see. Oh, that looks cool. There's oh. cities. There's little cities on the moon. Yeah. Or, it, the moon is just like they mentioned in uh, First Contact. Or at least Tycho like City. M- yeah. New something. New, Pittsburgh New Delhi. Something. I think That's awesome. Yeah. I don't remember. Uh, New Delhi. Isn't that what Yeah, it's said? New Delhi. <laughs> no, there's already a New Delhi. <laughs> yeah. It was like New Pittsburgh or something. No, it was New D something. New, new, new. New Detroit. New Detroit. New New, <laughs> new, new Detroit. <laughs> new New Detroit. <laughs> new 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 Mexico. Um, all right. So then you've got another shot here. Well, uh, it means we've got one more New Mexico to go before we have the moon oh, New crap, Mexico. Another one? Seriously, how many New Mexicos can you have? <laughs> Maybe um, they meant like the USS New Mexico. I'm I'm noticing I'm noticing oh. in the recent round of screenshots a lot of galaxy class. I think well they they noticed that honestly, we get excited about them. And so oh, well, I think like, they're it's releasing not just a lot galaxy more of those. though. It's it's enterprise of every uh, they're, they're releasing Except more of the classic, ish, classic ships. Oh, God, that looks good. So we've got here, we've got a shot of a galaxy-class uh, starship with sort of a blue haze and, and ice and rock and a planet in the a, background. And a it's, bright, like sun. it's like on a pleasure cruise. It's just like putzing along. It's like, it's like slow down a little right bit window, there, Helmsman. We'll Look see. out the window. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they're all hanging out pretty. in 10 forward and... Just having uh, a good time. Now here's a Guinan's this screenshot. Like, here's some blue liquid that's alcohol, I guess. I this is actually one I can is. mention something. Um, we were sent more screenshots mm-hmm. of the next tier up of um, starships because apparently it's taken a long time to, for people to get their first rank yeah. okay. in the beta. So a lot of screenshots all of a sudden came in at, after the last test of this new rank, and this is like a tier one okay. cruiser. Okay, I okay. believe. I think it's called an. Looks nice. What did it call? Do you have the charts? Urshan, something like that? Ursacon? Now, what's, what, what I like about this screenshot, I mean, it's a cool-looking ship, but what I like about it is, again, this sh- we've talked about it before, but the detail on the planets, if you look down on the surface of the planet, there's, looks there's so structures good. there. Yeah. It's really cool. It's not just wildlife. You know, this reminds me, yeah. though, of we got, a, we got maybe what you might call, I'm going to tone it down a little bit, but we got kind of a mini rant in our inbox we about um, the um, credits and, and merit system and and how expensive ships and equipment are oh, versus right. how much you make in the game. So there's, you know, there's a federation credits. You get, uh, I forget what they're called. You get you know, energy credits. There's energy and credits something. and there's yeah. merits. And uh, you get... Wasn't there a third version? I thought I so. Know. Oh, but, yeah, they mentioned Latinum before. Yeah. 
But you like so when you destroy yeah. a ship, you get like one merit, right? Or you get sure. whatever it is, uh, one, you know, or you, you get ten energy credits or whatever. But when you destroy, like, say, a ship, right now the system's bounced so that you get, like, literally, like, one point, and then you go buy, you want to go buy an upgrade of a starship, and the starship costs, like, 50,000 points. And this guy was saying, I'm at level two or three or four, whatever he's at, and I've been playing I for... I think he said the rank one, so the next... He got his first free ship of the next rank, but right. wanted to go get another one. And it, the total, the cost of the ship was, like, 50,000 merits, and he only had 5,000 total or something like that, that after hours of gameplay. Yeah, which meant that the time that it took him to get that first rank, it would take ten times that long just to get a second yeah. ship. So that's something I think Cryptic hasn't really balanced out yet. They're probably well, just the, the game's probably just handing out like one point, one point, one well, it point. Is, it is closed beta, and closed beta is only really play for a little bit each week. You so know, it's no not point. the open beta yet. So maybe they don't want people testing out the later on ships yet. That could be one way to I don't know sort of force it within game is just turn I don't down Jeremy, the merit. Can you knob. comment on that based on your gameplay experience so far in the closed beta? No, I haven't tried to buy a ship. Oh, crap. Did I just... Oh, you oh. did! <laughs> Wait. It is confirmed no. is it a that violation if you that are if I in closed say beta, that you can, you can decide to not try and buy a new <laughs> ship. <laughs> We've confirmed it here. This has been confirmed here first. <laughs> All right. Is now, it a violation if I tell them I haven't done something? I do believe so. <laughs> I haven't logged in. Let's, uh, let's uh, <laughs> throw back here to the screenshots. Now, here's just a shot that combines glow and lighting effects. Oh, yeah. It's a galaxy-class ship getting blown up. And one of the things I'll point out to the people watching is um, Starfleet logos on the saucer section of this galaxy-class starship yep. lit up. And yeah. that's a really nice addition because it. Uh, this is one of the things we mentioned earlier in the show where Cryptic's saying we're going to be able to put fleet logos in these spots. I right now, this has the Starfleet idea. you know, uh, logo on it that might actually be in our background. That's right it now. right next to the where it says the name on the front, right? Yep, right above the right, right yep, above where right, it says right there. USS Enterprise and it's blowing up. <laughs> it's like it's it's like it's got two little uh, it lo says, Starfleet logo nipples sitting there. It's the does the USS yeah. Enterprise NCC one seven zero one D and it's blowing, blowing up. up. <laughs> <laughs> the poor Enterprise D just can't get a break. Uh, you guys. can't get a break. All right, uh, let's move on here. We've got um, uh, an uh, interesting ship uh, sh shot of the new kind of modified Excelsior, which looks awesome. Love this new Excelsior oh, that design. In the foreground there? Yeah, in the foreground. Yeah. And then the background, you've nice. got a sovereign class, and they're taking on like a Gorn ship or something like that. Yep. Uh huh. And it, I, it's the combination. Only in Star Trek Online am I going to be able to play. I really dig this Excelsior. I but love there's also the Excelsior sovereign there, class. too. So I just. I just love uh, the no, shot for the that. The Excelsior can take out a sovereign any day. And you've got you've got the light gleaming off the planet. Oh, it looks so. It's good. just so nice. You know, at this point though, every time we sit down to review the the screenshots, it's just like, okay, this looks gorgeous, so let's play. Yeah, but I there's know. just there's nothing bad to say about any yeah. of these shots. Maybe I we agree. should start trying to discover new things to to mention. I'm trying. Like I'm looking at them, and I'm just thinking, okay, that's gorgeous. <laughs> Do you think we might have reached the limit? Well, have we talked much about these Romulans? This is know. a classic-looking Romulan well, warbird. Have we talked about these very much? Yeah, we just mentioned them. We've a mentioned them, times. and they and they look great, but it's off in the distance, and we don't get a whole lot of detail <laughs> right. on and it. You got a defiant-looking ship, and obviously, you're not going to be yeah. able to fly a Romulan ship. Now, now, one of the things though, in cool all mission, of these though. shots that is consistent is no UI. We're not getting shots of the user interface. They're hiding it and then taking the screenshots right. of the gameplay. Right. So while it's great, we're not getting any of the heads-up display. We're not getting any of the controls. Which is really the meat of the kind of mechanics These are the things that we I really want to see. Um, like right here, we're getting a shot of, of Earth and Earth Space Station, it looks like. With right. an Excelsior um, modified. With it, and it looks gorgeous. Honestly, it looks better than like most a sovereign Excelsior Star Trek combo. wallpaper you find out there. <laughs> yeah. Um, it, I mean, I'm... Everyone's excited for this. Everyone's pumped. But I need to see what the UI looks I like. I figure we throw these in here to kind of show people just some of the latest, best yeah. screenshots. And then I'm also, if, we, if we've got a bunch of screenshots in a week that we don't include in the show, during the credits at the end of the video, I'm throwing them in there. So I don't know if people have noticed that, but I've been, I've been adding those in. Uh, there, you're a sweetheart. I, I, I like to give, Brian. You're I'm a giver. giver. You're a giver. Um, so I just, yeah, I am so excited to play this game. I just can't even believe it. Um, and and that's why I wanted to say again, just thanks to Aaron over at Console Classics, because I'm going to definitely play some retro yeah. Star Trek. And Seriously, that's that's gonna that's gonna cover my uh, my winter break time before I actually play open beta. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Which again is January 12th is when it's scheduled to start. Right. So it's not too far off. So basically, just a little over a month. Yeah, and I probably weeks. won't be able to play again until then anyway. I can do it. I can do it. I can after make it. I show. can make it. Not unless, after this show. Unless I somehow end up with a beta invite, which I could almost see the guys at Cryptic doing it just to try to screw with the whole show format. Dude, no. <laughs> if I were the guys at Cryptic, I would give all three of us beta invites like right now. Watch them. And then watch. And as soon yeah. as we screw up once, cut it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, for, just to toy with it. They us. don't want to hear us complain and whine. Oh, that's a good point. But and I, we totally would. But you know that some of them would be watching like the episode after that and be like... 
Let's see what they can do now, suckers. <laughs> you know that would happen. Dude, even if they you don't want to cut it, they should threaten it. Yeah. Like, they should send us an email like, right. guys, you gotta, knock it you, off. Gotta, you gotta knock it just off. Just to freak us out. The next episode, <laughs> we, we will just be like, so all we're gonna do today is repeat what was said on Zam. Yeah. And that's it. So, yeah, this uh, episode, we're reading web pages. Welcome to the podcast where we read websites in our inbox. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, I think that, that pretty much wraps up uh, this week's show. Of course, you can go check out our forum over at jupitercolony.com and send yeah. us tips at tips at jupiterbroadcasting.com. And of course, you can find all these shows, all of our other shows over at jupiterbroadcasting.com. You want to get a hold of us one of the, many of the other ways, there's a little Ask Us button there. You can just go clicky-poo on that guy and it'll take you somewhere. Contact it's awesome. Us, I think. Contact, Contact us. Up at the top us, of the site or something like that. Or, or, or the colony. Out. Here's the thing. I trust that everyone re- watching the show can read English. Faith in you. So there you go. You can figure it out. All right. Well, thanks everyone so much for watching this episode of Stoked. Yeah. We'll be back in one week.